Hi and welcome along to the next um, video. This one's going to have a look at what we do with the equations of lines of best fit in order to help predict outcomes. You'll recall this Chisholm student population by year graph from the last video and we used it to determine that the equation of the line of best fit was given as this. Now remembering that we relate the x and y axis, on the y axis we actually have the student numbers. So we can say students will actually equal 50 times, now our x value is actually the year, down here. So it'll be 50 times the year, plus this 475. So how do we use that to actually estimate what's going to go forward? If, for instance, we wanted to predict student numbers into the year 2016. So 2016 would typically be here. And we can read off the graph and say, look, based upon that, our estimated value of that will be approximately, well, where does that fall? About 930 students. But we can also do make a prediction based on um, substitution of numbers. So here, for example, if we wanted to work out what the value was in the 2016, which is nine years on from 2008, if we count 2008 as our first year, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, so into our ninth year, what's going to happen with our numbers? So if we replace the number of years with nine in our equation, we can then work through and calculate that in fact we would expect 925 students to be present in 2016. Now this is an estimate, and it's an estimate based on our model which is linear. You'll notice that the points themselves do not align exactly with the line, so what we have is an estimate. And that estimate is subject to things like assumptions that perhaps um, the fees don't go up or down in the school particularly much, that your favourite maths teacher doesn't leave and all the student numbers drop off. So there's a few assumptions we make, but there's also limitations. And some of those limitations are that whilst we can be fairly confident if we predict within the range of 2016 to 2008, so anything within that period of time, we can have a fairly high degree of um, confidence in, the results we get. As soon as we step outside of that, so as soon as we go further, and particularly as we move further and further away from 2015 and beyond, what we're doing there is extrapolating our results and our confidence in those results or the numbers that we get are reduced. So they're significant limitations of the, of the whole model and the modelling process.